Well, it's it's he's a he's a very layered character. It's pretty much the whole film you're asking me to. Um, but he's um, he's a young man who happened to be part of Queen Victoria's life in a big way, the last phase of her life, the 15 years right before her death, um, and all the way up until her death, a little after, and um, he intellectually stimulated. I mean, they, they both stimulated each other intellectually, I thought. He was a very learned man and, and, and a spiritual man and sort of um, saw how, how lonely and bored this woman was, this woman who should have been the happiest woman on the planet because she was queen three-fourths of it so I thought yeah he he brought some life back into her how were you cast in the role it was a long process <laughs> lots of auditions um, I did get a tip off uh, from a business associate of mine I was sitting very much like this and she said you know the auditions happened last week and uh, why don't you go try it out so I did I, I we, we recorded two scenes on a phone I remember on my phone <laughs> And we sent, and 25 days later, we got a call saying, Stephen is coming down, uh, you know, to sort of look for more actors and audition and looked at, so it just went on and on. I mean, it was two months of of some good, rigorous auditions. That was the part. Can you talk about working with Judy Dench? Wonderful. Uh, I couldn't have asked for more. I think she's, she's a legend. Uh, probably the most loved woman in Britain, if not the world. Uh, and she's she's out there for everybody to yeah. <laughs> what would you like to see audiences take away from this movie about India and her history after seeing it? Well, I hope, and I really hope people look at it as a story of love and and hope. And as cliched as that sounds, um, that there's there's this purity in it, even in the midst of chaos and and hate and racism and that the, the differences in culture um, and those were the obvious things. They belonged to two ends of the spectrum. Nothing matched and yet so much did because it was a very human connection. Uh, how is working on the shoot of this movie different from the movies you've shot in India? Well this was not India. <laughs> yet a lot to do with India but um, um, I think it changes when, when you're shooting a true uh, you know, a true story, a biopic, and especially in this case, it was based on someone who existed 130 years ago, uh, which is a long time because you don't have the meat, you don't have so much information on him, especially because history's decided to sort of kick it out and not have it there. So it was hard, my research was hard, but it was, I had to mathematically almost arrive at some point and, and flesh him out and put in a part of me in it and hope. I can only hope that it was uh, something honest there.